things that happened. Brazier kind of got boxed, but he was fine. Um, Jewett did well in a slow race, which I thought was impressive. Hopple and Murphy and Harris and all the big guns got through. There was, though, a little question about Hopple, where during the press conference, one of the journalists asked Hopple if, if he's hurt, and Hopple kind of ignored the question. Mm -hmm. Should we be concerned about Hopple being a lock with Brazier? Did he look hurt when he ran? Or was this more a question about, hey, you haven't been running any of these, you haven't run a race in the last month. Is there anything wrong? Or was it based on how he ran? Because he looked Bryce Hopple to me. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't even think to ask that question. But the fact that he didn't was he didn't he kind of ignored it makes you think maybe yeah. there's something, but maybe he's clearly not injured, so that's why he ignored it. He's like, "What? He didn't even remember the question because it didn't make sense to him." <laughs> so well, and and then they asked Brazier, like, "Were you limping or something, or, or did you have an injury?" And then he just said no. And I, I mean, Brazier looked fine. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't see any any issue with Brazier other than he got boxed, but Sawinski moved out and he was able to, to slide in. That inside pass move happens a lot when you're in second because the person in first does tend to, to drift a little bit. And it wasn't unrealistic for Brazier to tactically put himself in that position. I think he probably knew that eventually the rail would open up and he'd be able to go by. You know what's weird about injuries in track and field? I know they don't want to have any what? excuses. But the reason why you disclose injuries in other sports is because you don't want opponents attacking them. You don't want someone to know that your right arm hurts because then they'll try to hit you in the right arm or they'll attack you at that, that pressure point. But in tra like, what are they going to do? If Bryce Hopple said, I sprained my ankle, are they going to be ooh, Bryce Hopple sprained ankle. Let's really go at him from the gun, really put pressure on him. It's an 800. That's what they're doing anyway. It's true. I want to give a big shout out though to Shane Strike of Lipscomb. He qualified. I think he's going to be the Craig Angles of 2016. Explain. He has, he's got he's got a mullet going a little bit. Oh, he's kind of from he's kind of has that old school move of like not really winning any race, but kicking well in the final 50 to find a way to sneak on to the next round. That's what Craig Angles did in 2016, where he kept on finding ways to make a final in both the eight. And the 15, a couple of them had to deal with some DQs, but he made it, and that kind of took off his career. Shane Strike, Lipscomb, he's my fun wild card of the 800. I hope he makes the, the final out of the, the second out of the semifinals, so I can cheer for him. But that's I'm a big. This is a Shane Strike fan podcast until the end of the 800. So we should get sponsorship. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you were big on Lipscomb. You were you learned the fight song. Which I thought yeah. was a lot a very committed, uh, Gordon Mack. When it comes for to Brazier and Hopple and Murphy and all these guys, I think we'll know tomorrow in the semis. I think the difference yeah. between the first round and a semi in the eight hundred and the fifteen hundred in particular so is so massive, different. so different. So we'll know they'll actually get put under pressure in these heats. Can I mention the semi heats for tomorrow, or do you want to wait? Yeah, well, now let's talk about tomorrow. Let's let's talk about tomorrow. So, Travis, this is the clip. What is going down on day two of the Olympic trials? Kevin, hit me. What's going down? Well, it's going to be highlighted by the women's 100-meter final at the end of the night. But we also have semis in the men's 400 and women's 400 and in the men's 800 and women's 15.